While anticipation is building at LA City Hall, Mayor Karen Bass is set to make a huge announcement in just a few hours. Right now, the details are under wraps. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom joins us live from downtown LA. And Cara, we know a big decision was supposed to be made this week. We do, and we should say first off, we don't yet know what the mayor's announcement is going to be about this morning. The office only telling us that at 9 o'clock here this morning at City Hall, we will be hearing it. What we do know is that Mayor Karen Bass had hoped to make a decision on the next L.A. police chief by September's end, which of course has L.A. wondering if we might be about to learn the choice. Take a look. The mayor has been quiet about who's under consideration. Former L.A. County Sheriff Jim McDonald here, though widely considered among the top candidates. Candidates. He's been in public safety for decades, working also for the LAPD and the Long Beach Police Department. Also talked about, take a look, Deputy Chief Amade Tingaridis, whom supporters have praised for calling on officers and residents to work together on solutions. And Robert Arcos, a former LAPD assistant chief who's been considered for the top job before. Here's how this process works. The L.A. Board of Police Commissioners and an outside firm provide nominees to the mayor. She selects from amongst them. Whomever she nominates will still have to be confirmed by the city council. We did get some insight into her thoughts from a 15-page report about the selection. Mayor Bass said it would serve as a guide both for her ultimate choice and for improvements to the department. And it did talk a lot about improving morale, the well-being of officers, looking into concerns about the disciplinary process, high stress levels, and staffing and support. The report also said that. Take a look. Following that announcement by Chief Michael Moore that he would be retiring, the mayor held numerous meetings for feedback. She spoke with officers and staff from across L.A., business and community leaders, neighborhood councils and civil rights leaders and clergy about the changes they want. Now, since Moore stepped down, interim chief Dominic Choi, a veteran, has been at the helm. He made it clear, though, he's not interested in this spot permanently. This huge appointment will shape the future of the department. So back here live, of course, a lot of talk about whether that decision may have been made yet. Uh, we are expecting to hear about it soon, and we will be waiting to see if today might be that day. Back okay, Cara, we're all uh, anticipating this. Thank you. Now you can get your KCAL News, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.